When a shop is working on an estimate or repair order and it becomes necessary to see what part options are available, it's a simple matter of clicking on a catalog to open it for quick browsing and selection of parts for the order in front of them. Open the category and begin selecting parts. Use the Add to Quote or Order Summary or similar selection to confirm that the required parts are ready to copy back to the order screen. Click on Transfer, then check the matrix calculated pricing. Engage the User Entered Price feature as needed. Press F12 to check profit. Then quote the job to the customer for their approval. Click on Parts Ordering to open the Parts Ordering window. Use Price Check to update the status. This is generally required to ensure that you have the latest information before you place an order. Enter any related information in Order Message or the Reference Invoice Number field and then click on Order Parts. A Lookup Completion dialog box appears with three options. Update All Fields means that that if anything changes about the parts looked up, the changes will be applied. Update All Except Sale is provided because if User Entered Price was used to override a matrix calculated price, Update All Fields would revert the part back to a matrix sell price. The third option is to simply order the part as it is and not update anything about it. The PO has been automatically created. Please note that the order lines change to blue to confirm ordered status. They will be changed to green when the receive process is completed. When these parts arrive, click on View PO and then click Select to open the PO worksheet. Receive and Receive All work essentially the same way. Receive All eliminates the need to keep clicking on Receive for each part. Click on Receive All and the Receive All Parts option box appears. The first box is to receive parts to appropriate repair orders. That's really provided for stock orders that might also contain items needed on active repair orders. However, we already started this from a specific repair order. The second option is to create inventory records where none currently exist. The upside is that these new part records will be exposed to a number of inventory sales and stocking reports. The downside is that a shop can end up with a lot of one-time part records they later have to search through. The response to this option depends on your inventory goals. Once you click OK, the parts lines turn green to indicate that they have been received. You may enter the vendor's invoice number in the Reference Invoice field for tracking purposes, and this shows up on Purchase Order Reports. Click on Close PO to finish.